Professor Sujato Bhadro, you've been on this show in the past and you've argued very passionately, Professor Bhadro, that the government needs to focus on development, spend money on the tribals. We've now got a senior Naxal commander, Giriraj Yadav, on camera saying 40% of our money comes from government schemes. This money, 2,000 crore rupees and more, being spent by the government on development in these areas is being siphoned off by the Maoists. They're growing huge. The report that we brought out is eye-opening. It's shocking. It really shows how the money being pumped in by the government is being stolen by the Naxals. How can any development take place? How will the tribals benefit if the Naxals are stealing from them? Initially, my reaction is that I am not competent to comment on this. But my point is that uh, end and, and means are to be morally justified. This is my primary reaction to your, to your revealing story, quote unquote. But there is also part of the whole story is that that they may not believe in the Gandhian principles, they might believe in certain other principles and there is a, if you go to the history of the world or any, any militant organization, they do collect money from any, any, uh, any uh, kind of illegal ways. No, no, they, surely uh, you're not justifying it. Sadeshi surely you're not Sadeshi citing Dakar. history, Professor Badro, to justify uh, uh, what these minute, terrorists one, are doing. Uh, one, They're stealing minute, the government's money. How can Rahul, development Rahul, take place in this circumstance? Rahul, 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 what I'm saying that morally, their morality is different from, from another kind of value system. I believe in Gandhian principle that end and means must be justified. And means must justify the end. Some other political party may not accept that. So this is my primary reaction. I, and this allegation that they are taking money illegal way or siphoning of the de 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 developmental money for their own cause is, is, is an old allegation. But I'm so saying these are not allegations. Not How long will we continue what calling what these allegations? Done? That to me seems yeah. to be the problem. Professor Badro, one, these one, are Naxals one, one themselves minute, saying minute, so on one, camera. One, one there are tribals who are saying so. They're talking minute, about how money that they uh, get from yeah. the NREG is being siphoned yeah, off by yes. the Naxals. How they're having to give a cut in everything they do. From the coal mining uh, mafia, they're taking money. They're taking money from the poppy cultivators. These are Naxals themselves saying so. The tribals are saying so. These are voices from the ground. These are not allegations. Yeah. Yeah. This, no, this still allegation because, because still allegation what you are projecting. He is sacrosanct and is pure and, and not bad. It has to be investigated. It has, has to be. But let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. I never interrupted for anybody's talk. What I am trying to say that it is the government to curb their illegal activities, illegal extortion of money. So nobody, no social activist is going to say that you cannot stop illegal extortion of money by any political group. Number one. Number two is that the Noxalite is to answer whether and how end and, and means they, 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 they look into that. They have any other perspective or their different morality, I am not to answer. What I am supposed, supposed to say is that you are comparing with Taliban. Uh, what I am trying to say, this kind of illegal extortion of money by militant outfit in pre-independence India, in post-independence India, a lot of incidents are there, a lot of instances there. Only you have only one instance in your mind that is Taliban. That way you communalize the whole issue. That should not be no, done. No, no, no one is trying to... Illegal outfit, the Taliban is not about communalizing money, anything. Illegal. Mr. Badro, the Taliban is not about a particular community. The Taliban are a bunch of barbarians who have absolutely no community. And Keshav Rao, it would seem to me that increasingly, from the reports that we are getting from the ground, the Naxals are proving out to be as bad as the Taliban. And it is time that people like you come and put your moral authority behind the argument that the Naxals need to be fought against. You need to strengthen Chidambaram's hand. Tarun Vijay is yes, saying people Rahul. like you, people like Manishankar Ayyar are weakening Rahul, the hand Rahul, of the Home Rahul, Minister, Rahul, yeah. debilitating India one in this minute, fight. One minute. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes, yes I'm coming. One is that the perception I have nothing to comment to offer. But so far the Chidambaran and Sonia Gandhi and other issues there, my viewpoint and our sizable section viewpoint there, you have to have a dialogue with the with the with, with the political organization who are banned now. 
you have to have a dialogue no, no, with dialogue with terrorists why should why does why would you recommend dialogue with terrorists who recommends dialogue with terrorists nobody has any dialogue with terrorists they have picked up the gun they are fighting against you why should we be having any dialogue with any terrorists mr keshav rao okay you've had your say professor badro i want to go across to keshav rao and get him to respond to this growing comparison between the naxals and the taliban because the naxals are increasingly acting as bad if not worse than the taliban mr rao First of all, you please understand. I beg you to understand. Nothing can be solved in this country without talks. Nothing can be done without a dialogue. If you think dialogue will not do it, even after the enemy, you talk the dialogue. What is that you will do? I will condemn it for 40 years. I have been condemning. Have I stopped this uh, menace? No. This dialogue will not help you. This condemnation will not do it. The words will become inadequate for your condemnation. But what did he do? So let us be very serious. If you no, no, Mr. Rao, you are saying like let's not fight the Maoists, let's talk to them. The fact is these people are running a parallel economy. Our report brings out how they are being financed from within the country. How can you talk to somebody who's got a gun pointed at your head? And he's firing it again and again, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rahul, Mr. Rahul, I held talks with the Nakhsalites. I am the first man in this country, in this country, who held the talks in the Pradesh with Nakhsalites. What did happen to Nakhsalites? I went to the forest, 16th forest. What happened there? Is there next side? Has it not come down? What did we do? We have understood them. I know the moment Ramakrishna said the talks failed, I went there. Not that I have got it. There is a magical wand in my hand. Not that I have totally closed the... Uh, okay. Said, uh, next side.